access to battlefield information with 360 degree coverage. Advanced electronic warfare capabilities enable the F-35 to locate, track enemy forces, jam radio frequencies, and disrupt attacks with unparalleled precision. Major Walsh is now positioning the aircraft for a deceleration to hover the aircraft at show center. The entire weight of the aircraft will be supported by the thrust from the lift van, main engine, and roll, contor roll control nozzles generating up to 40,000 pounds of thrust. This capability can, to conduct vertical landing operations is what allows the F-35 Bravo to operate from amphibious ships and provides additional flexibility for operations in austere env environments. As you can hear the lift fan spooling down, the aircraft is now transitioning back to a conventional mode of flight. Do you want to, you want to get everything up? Hold on, Nick. Yeah. We would like to acknowledge the hard work and dedication of all the Marines and sailors of BMFA 121, without whom this demonstration would not be possible. 
And ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to see an F-35 Bravo up close, we have one on static display on the far western side of the air show. We have pilots and maintainers standing by to answer any questions that you might have. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the aerial demonstration of the F-35 Bravo Lightning II. The MFA-121, along with 3rd Marine Aircraft Wing and Marine Aircraft Group 13, hope you've enjoyed this presentation of the future of United States Marine Corps Strike Fighter Aviation. Thank you, Brad Abamante. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the green...